So create a new layer. And um, we'll go ahead and, you know, this time we're going to go ahead and use the, the paint bucket tool. And we're going to choose a color. Let's find a nice, uh, we're actually going to do two colors for the lion. But let's pick a nice saturated orange and we're just going to dump it on there. And again this time so we can see what's going on. We're going to go ahead and think color. Let's see how color looks with that. We'll go with that. And then again we're going to go ahead and mask and just start painting away with our paintbrush tool. Actually we could even fill it. We could just start with a fill. Erase it all, right? And then go back to our paintbrush tool because we have our mask selected. That's why you know we filled it with black. Now we'll switch this to white. And I'm gonna come in here, just zoom in on that on that uh, lion and I'm just gonna start painting away. You can also see actually my paintbrush tool right now is at a 66%. So you can change your opacity of your paintbrush tool. See now now it's getting everything. All right, that's pretty good. You can always go back and retune this later, refine tune this later. Now, uh, with that, I actually do want to add another color to him. So I'm going to click on my main color, and I want to use like a whiter, a whiter color of of orange or yellow for this guy. Um, and I am just going to use the paintbrush tool again. I'm going to go ahead and paint this. All right, let's see how that looks. Not bad. Really oversaturated. So what we can also do with this layer is we can do a couple different things. We could change the blending mode. Um, or we could also drop the fill or the percentage back. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Um, 
if we don't like the color, we'd have to change it. So we'd have to go in here and um, repaint the, the lion. Now, it would have been easier had we split the light colors up with the gold, then we could um, isolate and change each individual color if we wanted to. It's also probably good to know that his nose is black, so we should probably paint that out. So let's grab our uh, paintbrush tool again. Let's make sure we're on our mask. And let's paint that. Oh, make sure it's black up on the foreground. There we go. It's a little bit better. Now, whoop, oh, Command D. There we go. Not bad. So let's go ahead and do, um, we're going to do this for the entire thing. And then we'll come back and look at some of the different layers and how we set that up. 